Well, Apple has come out of nowhere with a new update to Final Cut Pro. We've got version 10.6.10 after 10.6.9 was released just a few weeks ago. There isn't much to report on this update to 10.6.9, but it does fix one key thing for a lot of you who are using FX Factory products. Let's take a look at what this update covers. So first off, we've got fixes an issue that could cause an FX plug based title that analyzed the clip to result in an incomplete analysis. Now this corresponds to an issue that FX Factory was reporting with the 10.6.9 update where it was breaking these title layers that would do like motion tracking, object tracking, things like that. This apparently fixes that. So my guess is that FX Factory was working closely with Apple to report on how this was breaking a lot of their products and Apple put things into overdrive to deliver an update, especially with the update being delivered on a Thursday afternoon when typically Final Cut Pro updates come out on a Tuesday. So this came out of nowhere seemingly even though I think we were expecting a new version to fix this bug. Now, the versioning number, 10.6.9 to 10.6.10, we were all expecting the next update to be something like 10.7 this fall or in the early part of the year with the Vision Pro coming out, but Apple went ahead and opted for a 10.6.10 update. Now, the other part of the release notes was fixes an issue that could cause a motion template with an applied align to behavior to display an incorrect animation. The vast majority of you, this isn't really going to pertain to you or fix that issue. Um, but for those of you that do, this will be a welcome fix. Apple did also update motion. They did not update compressor, but they did update motion as well. We won't take a look at that in this video though. So one of the big questions that we always have to ask when Final Cut Pro drops an update is, does this require a library update to our existing 10.6.9 compatible library? So I've already got Final Cut Pro installed. If you're curious about the installation process with Final Cut Pro, especially backing up your Final Cut Pro application file, as well as backing up your libraries, I do cover that in some other videos, and I also have links to resources that are directly from Apple that you can check out in the links below. That will help you to do that backup of the application as well as your Final Cut libraries in the event that there is a library update. But let's check to see real quick if there is. So uh, we're going to pull something up here in Finder. I've got an older project. And let's go to my Movies folder. I'm going to go to YouTube, and I have uh, a video here. Now, this doesn't have the media link to it. Um, and it looks like this video was made on 10.6.9, and we do not have any uh, updates that are required for that library. So again, this library was created in version 10.6.9, and I'm opening it here in version 10.6.10, and I'm not seeing where we have to do a library update. Let's also do an export of an XML and just see if there's a new XML version. It looks like we're still at 1.11, so no update to the XML as well. When we check Apple's website for the release notes, they still haven't updated anything on the release notes, but of course, in the App Store application, we just have these two lines. Now, something else to keep in mind for those of you running older Intel machines. Many of you were disappointed to see that 10.6.9 wasn't compatible with certain versions of the Monterey operating system. This looks like it's only compatible with Mac OS 13.4 or later. So if you want to upgrade to 10.6.10, you're going to need that OS to be able to do so. So again, the big the big fix that this had is for the FX factory plugins that were having some issues and there may have been some other brands uh, motion via <laughs> excuse me there may have been some other companies plugins that were affected by this bug in the last 1069 update as well now of course whenever you're updating final cut <laughs> I can't speak. Whenever you're updating Final Cut Pro, you always want to proceed with caution. If you have multiple systems like I do, a laptop and a Mac Studio, it's always recommended to update on one and see if there are any issues with your third-party plugins and software. Of course, this happened with 10.6.9 and the FX Factory products that were specifically affected by this bug. So you don't want to bring a project to its knees by updating Final Cut Pro when a third-party plugin might be negatively impacted.
impacted. Of course, if you follow the links in the description that talk about backing up your version of Final Cut Pro and backing up your libraries, you'll be able to roll back to an earlier version, of course, that if you do encounter issues with third-party plugins. Of course, I'll be editing with 10.6.10 for the coming weeks, and if I see any issues with plugins from FX Factory, Motion VFX, and other plugin makers, I'll certainly report them. And of course, you'll want to subscribe or check out the website fcp.cafe. I'll have a link down in the description to that as well. That's a great Final Cut Pro community that involves developers, pro editors, and content creators who gather a lot of information, breaking news, bugs, issues with Final Cut Pro, etc. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you're interested in seeing some more Final Cut Pro videos that teach you some tips and tricks with your workflows, I've got a couple of links here coming up that you'll be able to check out. Thanks for watching this Final Cut Pro update video. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli. We'll see you later.